nice weather, but huge wind gusts at times. It's kind of waiting for it to die down actually to fly and so forth. And what's going on today? I guess the first thing I read that was everywhere here, what's going on? Are we going into war? Like this one here says, Chinese warship nearly hits US destroyer in Taiwan Strait during joint Canada-US mission. As it says here, a Chinese warship came within 150 yards of hitting American destroyer USS Chenghun during a rare joint Canada-US mission sailing through Taiwan Strait, the latest aggressive military move from Beijing in the South China Sea. So that made it sound like, did they do it intentionally, for example? It says, a People's Liberation Navy ship picked up considerable speed and cut in front of the bow of the Chenghun, a maneuver HMCS Montreal's commander Captain Paul Montfort called not professional. When the Chinese vessel altered its course, Montfort says the crew called the American ship and told them to move or there would be a collision. The Americans responded by asking the Chinese to stay clear of the ship, but the Chenghun ultimately needed to alter course and slow down to avoid a crash. So again, was this intentional? And then the other articles I read made it sound like they acknowledged it to kind of say yes it was in a way. It says China defends buzzing American warship and accused the US of provocation. China's defense minister defended sailing a warship across the path of an American destroyer and Canadian frigate transiting the Taiwan Strait telling a gathering of some of the world's top defense officials in Singapore on Sunday that such so-called freedom of navigation patrols are a provocation to China. In his first international public address since becoming defense minister in March, General Li Shangfu told the Shangri Dialogue that China doesn't have any problems with innocent passage, but that we must prevent attempts that try to use those freedom of navigation. And by the sounds of it, the US then says they won't be bullied, I guess, by such tactics. Again, are we going to war now? Is this just one of those things where people are taunting each other, like saying, hey, let's see who's gonna take the, I guess, first shot so there's an excuse of an all out war. That's what it kind of sounds like it's kind of gearing towards, huh? Are you preparing in any way during these times? I know some people have said in anticipation for a war, for example, they're gonna buy every single, I guess, electronic or computer component that they think they'll need in the next couple of years because afterwards if there is a war there will be a huge shortage things for example such as shipping or transportation within areas in Asia and North America they'll be non-existent or whatever either way let's see what happens huh and then I read this where at first I thought it was just a drone light show per se but it was kind of interesting because apparently it was being conducted by the police. I was like, what, really? This one says, drone show by Cyberabad police dazzles people in Hitech city. A spectacular drone show by Cyberabad police with 500 drones at Durgam Churubu in the IT cluster of Hitech city on Sunday night left the citizens spellbound. In a visual treat to hundreds of onlookers, the dark skies over the lake were illuminated in multiple hues to depict the flagship projects of the state government and the police department. The drones from Bolt Lab Dynamics were flown in a perfect sync through a pre-programmed algorithm. It wasn't the only thing, of course. According to this, it says the drone show was conducted on the occasion of Sirksha Diwa celebrated as part of the 21-day decennial celebrations. The police organized rallies across the state displaying its patrolling vehicles, firefighting vehicles, other equipment, and showcasing various initiatives taken to maintain law and order with friendly policing. Kind of makes me wonder with that statement there, when people see stuff like this, if there's a lot of tension between, let's just say, a regular person and an official, would they actually enjoy an event like this? Or would they say, like, for example, oh, propaganda and so forth. Then again, in many ways, it just sounds like a parade, correct? I mean, you see that all the time. You have officials and so forth in a parade just to have a relaxing time connected with the community. But either way, a lot more people using drones as well, huh? Even if it's for things like light shows and all that.
See you guys later.